what's up welcome back to my channel um as you can see it is almost noon and i am just waking up and so is my sleepy little sidekick <laughs> we had a very rough night last night um it was the anniversary of jared and i's first date so we went um, to this place to do trivia um and it lasted kind of late, got home, um, and it's been storming for like two days straight. And my girl over here, she hates the rain. So she was very difficult to console last night. I was literally sitting in our closet because she hates being out on the bed or she likes to be in her little space. So. Um, that's where she slept last night and when Jared left for work this morning, she got up here. She was so tired though. We were up until three <laughs> while Jared was sleeping because she hates the rain. Um, and I was up doing some questions, practicing for the NCLEX because I take the NCLEX tomorrow. I'm so nervous and freaking out, but I'm just so ready to get it over with. Um, so I thought today, even though it's like the I have the worst routine right now. I don't even know what this is, but it's real. We are going to do a day in the life of studying for the NCLEX. Um, and my goal is to be done by like six because I know you're not supposed to study the day before anyway, but I just have not studied hardly at all. Um, but I need to do some studying and then by six, just have like a relaxing night. Um, Jared's gonna be gone um, working hockey and uh, I'm just gonna have a self-care night so I can get ready to take it tomorrow because I take it bright and early at 8 a.m. Um, so come along with me. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a study with me. shorts on um i've got my i have green shorts on too and this green cup and i'm gonna put my hair in this clip later we're just having a green moment today um so the last time that i think we talked um i in my last video i had made this dandy dandy calendar for january for when i was going to take my test and um Long story short, I had so many things in life just come up between then and just caused so many problems. So I was originally supposed to take my NCLEX on January 17th. It is now February 8th and I'm taking it tomorrow, February 9th. A lot of stuff going on with work um, that caused me not to be able to do that. And then um, about a week and a half ago, my mom, um, well, back in October, she fully tore her ACL. 
um, and so she needed surgery on her knee. Um, if you ever had an ACL tear, it's horrible. Um, and she lives in Colorado. I obviously live in Texas, so um, and I'm the only child um, for her. So she doesn't have anybody to take care of her really, and she needed a lot of help. She has stairs in her house. It was just a lot. So I was only gonna be there for a few days, and then she ended up needing me for longer. So I was there for over a week. Um, which is great that I could be with her. Like, it was so awesome. Um, we just sat around and watched um, 911 a lot, which is one of our favorite shows to watch together. Um, so, since we haven't lived together for a while, we had a lot to catch up on. A lot of episodes. Um, and just hang out with her. And it was great, but it was hard for studying um, because I just felt like I was so happy to attend to her and do all those things, but it was just at the end of that, I was like, huh. I don't feel like I can study. I'm so stressed. Um, just didn't have time. So I made this, long story short, I made this calendar and it just didn't end up going that way. I did not get as much studying done for the NCLEX as I had wanted to, um, which is super frustrating for me. But at the same time, I'm kind of just at peace with the fact that um, I've done the best that I can. I know this stuff and there's always going to be something that I don't know or not being able to answer a question the right way. Um, and just being able to try my best and pray that that's good enough. Um, I need to pass this so badly. It is dependent on my job, um, as in if I don't pass, um, I don't get to start my job um, in a little over two weeks, which I'm so excited about. But um, I also can't keep um, continuing being a tech at my job either because um, eventually I will have my nursing license, probably 45 days if I don't pass, um, and just causes so many problems, so I'll have to find another job in the meantime. But that's not going to happen, I'm going to pass, um, it's going to be great, I feel like I'm the last, I actually am the last one on my group to be doing my test, um, which I don't love, but everyone has passed so far, which is so awesome, I'm so proud of them, um, and can't wait to celebrate with them, but also want to be included in that group too. I think the most important thing is getting enough sleep the night before, which my sleep schedule has been so messed up. Um, being in Colorado, because I'd stay up late, get up in the middle of the night to help my mom, and then sleep in, be so lazy during the day. Um, so I'm in a really bad routine when it comes to that. And then just being able to focus on the questions, like really, you know, focus. I have a hard time focusing, um, taking computer tests, but. We're gonna do what we can. Like I said in my last video, my plan for studying was doing the Mark K reviews. So I have, and I put it in this binder because it's just so many pages, it worked out best. Cause I've been, this has like been my Bible, honestly, for this test. Um, so hoping he doesn't let me down. Um, but I listened to his lectures and um, with them, there's ABGs, um, antibiotics, calcium channel blockers, chest tubes, cardiac defects, um, psych, diabetes, um, electrolytes, ooh, mom, baby, um, prioritization, um, medication type stuff. So he really goes over everything and what he does is usually like a three day, um, a three full day, um, series in person and um he did one online so that's where i was able to or virtually so that's where i was able to get all these um but he goes through these notes and i took like i'm a color kind of gal so i really like color coded things because that helps me remember in my mind i'm like oh yeah um abgs i remember that stuff i put in pink on my paper and then I can kind of like sometimes I think I have a what's the word like a visual memory that's not the right word um that I can remember I'm like oh yeah I remember seeing that in the paper um and sometimes that's the only thing that gets me through being able to remember stuff so this is almost 100 pages in here um so I spent a lot of time when I was in Colorado going over this um after this is probably about 30 hours of work just to write all these in here, if not more. Um, and then I spent a lot of time reviewing them, 
I'm gonna review over it again today. Um, just look through it, see what things I can fill in that I don't have. Um, there's a lot of like how to answer select all that apply questions. Um, like how to, when you're between two answers, what to pick, the Sesame Street rule of like one of these things is not like the other. Um, just like test taking strategies that I think are important. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do is um, finish watching this video. Well, I'll start watching this video. Um, I keep looking over at my TV because I have it on over there. Um, <clears throat> it's called the One Hour Comprehensive NCLEX Review by Beautiful Nursing. Um, I stumbled upon it last night um, when I was just looking for something. Usually, like, YouTube videos have always helped me study. Like, when I'm feeling so overwhelmed, it kind of condenses everything down for me. Um, and so it's an almost an hour and a half of video and I saw so many people on there that are like I watched this right before I took my NCLEX and it helped me pass and like these things are so helpful I've watched like 20 minutes of it. It looks like she be kind of going over a lot of the same things that are in this Mark K thing I'm so hoping maybe I can just pick up a couple other like memorization tricks um, that he didn't have or that didn't work for me from his stuff that there's always going to be stuff that I don't know there's always going to be um trick questions or and the questions that I was doing is a lot of select all that apply um because I'm doing Kaplan um which is just not that I necessarily picked it but um my doing my capstone at the hospital that I did it at um and where I'll be working they um, paid for a subscription for it. So I was like, yeah, sure. I'll use that. So I've been doing that um, in ATI as well um, working through one of their comprehensive um, Tests that we did for last semester, which has been kind of helpful as well um, I just don't know what kind of questions there's gonna be so um, we're gonna go through Mark K stuff um, finish beautiful nursing's video and um, From there I think I will do a little bit of ATI, a little bit of um, my Kaplan questions. My thinking, little ATI, little Kaplan questions, and then um, Pearson View. When you sign up for the NCLEX, they give you two um, eighty question practice tests. I've been on the fence about doing these or not because I don't want it to shoot my confidence down um, the day before, but I'm thinking I will do it just to get a feel of how the test goes. Um, I've had people that have said they've done it and they got a bad score on it, but they still passed. So it's kind of not really a perfect telltale sign, but I think I'll do that. And then I'll probably do some more Kaplan and ATI and then, um, Probably call it quits for the day. hallway to do some studying um I feel like I spent so much time down there and I had a work thing come up that I had to deal with um so that took a little bit of my time um but I got through all the review stuff I feel really good about it I feel good about my knowledge on the material um and I want to do it's about 5 30 now um Jared will be home soon 
just super quick um, and I'm gonna sit down and do some more practice questions I think um, maybe till like 6 30 ish 7 and then I'm gonna go get my subway and have my chill night um, but I'm feeling good I just honestly am at a point where it is what it is and I'm gonna do the best that I can and so I just need to get myself in the mindset to be able to do that, which involves Subway and self-care night. So <laughs> we're gonna go do that now and take Sadie out and all those things. had enough um it is now almost seven i am so tired i am going to go get my food and i'm hoping that this tiredness kind of lasts <laughs> so i can get some good sleep tonight um i've not slept well which is not gonna help me tomorrow so i just need to get a good night's rest tonight um yeah i just really Really need that. I think it's been like the last three nights I have not slept well. So, go get my food and turn on a movie. people that look like they work here just go in so I feel like I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then head in um, 
They say to be here like 30 minutes early, but I don't know how that works when they're just, I feel like they're just opening, so. I don't know. Probably head in soon. Um, I'm gonna leave my stuff out here, so I'm gonna take like my phone. I need to go to the bathroom. <sighs> Breathe. Mm, you can see it in my eyes. I'm <laughs> so nervous. I hate this. I just want this to be over with. Okay, let's do it. done. I don't know what to think. My hair is kind of crazy. Um, that was long. <laughs> I honestly, like, I pray to God I never have to do that again. That was not enjoyable. Um, oof, I just did not like that. So, um, my test started at eight technically um i got the, in there at seven a little after after 7 30 um it's one o'clock now so it took me almost the whole time um i guess not really four of the five hours um or like three and a half um and i had 145 questions i don't know if that's good or bad um but then I also did like um, research questions for the new test and um, I thought those were like a little easier honestly kind of sometimes but um, and then I had a survey I don't know if everybody has that but I just felt like it took me so long um, and I really just I don't know I don't even know what to think like I didn't have a single math question which I think is weird Except no acid base. Like, what the heck? Where's that? I I had that down. So, um, and also I wish the freaking computer. <laughs> I wish that the um camera. I seriously hope somebody gets enjoyment out of seeing the facial expression that I made because Jared says I can't control my facial expressions. Um, the facial expression that I made um, when I saw the question and I was trying to understand what. Oh, um, when the question said that a person got a sphincterectomy, like I didn't even know that was a thing, but I'm sure I made quite the face. So anyway, I guess we'll do the trick and see what happens and I'll let you guys know when I find out.